Welcome to Linked Up, Breaking Boundaries in Education, a podcast that focuses on what is happening in education today, connecting everyone to the movers and shakers that are breaking boundaries in the education arena. Welcome to Linked Up, Breaking Boundaries in Education. We are here at South by Southwest EDU, the home of innovation. We are hearing such amazing things happening, and one of the sessions that we got to see was a past Linked Up guest. Yes, Erica Sandstrom. Yesterday, she was on the big South by Southwest stage. Oh my gosh, the big one. Yes, and she was representing Canva. She was on their panel with Guy Kawasaki. And <laughs> yes, and Jason, 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 yep. Jason Wilmot. Yep. Jason and who Wilmot. was our Kelly Gibson? Kelly, Kelly yes, Gibson. She's called Gibson is here on TikTok. She is a TikTok queen, right? Yes, yes Gibson she's... is here. So we, we've got to look her up and start yes. following her. Yeah, she's so fun. But really, uh, the conversation that they had was the intersection of AI and creativity, which we hear a lot about AI, and we all know it can write our papers. We all know it can write an email. We got that. Right. But how can it help us to be a little more creative? And that's what the session was about. And so Erica is here with us today, and we're going to talk just a little bit about that. Green and screen gal. Green screen. Yes, that's green screen gal. Yeah. Yes, and that we, is my name. That's your name. More so than my own name. Yes. <laughs> yes. And talk about creative. You... Your face should be in the dictionary, by the word creative. (laughs) You are so creative. That's so nice. Yes. (laughs) So, Erica, how did you get recognized to be on that prestigious panel yesterday? So exciting. That's a good question. But um, I am actually a conversador for Canva. Right. So, and that's a really, really fun program they have. And they're very selective about who they are. So, I feel very honored. But um, I, just from a lot of my posts and, and things that I, you know, lesson plans that they say are very unique and yes. really fun. So they, um, my PR manager from oh, Canva got there. got a PR manager yeah, now. Yeah. Well, not me personally, <laughs> but for Canva. Yeah. Um, she uh, has gotten me lots of things. I was an NPR in Boston and oh a few other goodness. things. Oh. And so they said it was originally going to just be Guy and Jason. And then Jason was like, Way more educators. people than us, you know. Oh, and, yeah, and I the guy that. agreed. So, uh, guy pulled in Kelly Gibson because she was on his Remarkable People podcast, and oh. they're very good friends too. And, oh, right. Um, and then they said we need a ambassador, and uh, even Jason, all of them were like, "Oh, we got to bring Eric." So yeah, it was yes. such an. They're like, "Oh, we're bringing Eric for sure." So it was. So, so I get this call, and I didn't realize. I mean, I know South by Southwest. You hear that? That's like the Hollywood of ed tech. Right. You know, you, right. right. This is a big deal. Right. So when I read it, I had I had to have somebody else read. I'm like, and then, <laughs> is, and then this, is this true? And then I said, guys, I'm like, I'm like, come on, is this, am I being punked? Or <laughs> Ashton Kutcher? Oh, you're being punked. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's the, kind of how it happened. So the so my long answer. For that. Quite an honor. <laughs> yeah. so, so exciting. Yes. Yesterday, what was your biggest takeaway from being on the stage? Like, what message do you think resonated with the audience about? maybe AI or creativity or? Uh, I think that everyone on the panel did a really good job of talking about the fear and how it's being fed to us. So we explained or he shared a lot of ways to use AI creatively, but also um, not that I don't love chat GPT because I do. I don't go anywhere without it, but it's just a so many other things you can do with it to make your life better, to right. make it, your life easier. Right. And to spend time with your kids if you want to. Right. <laughs> if right. You, you know, um, so I think my takeaway too was listening to Kelly talk about, she's an English teacher. So she yes. was hitting all the, the perfect spots for the biggest fears about cheating. And, and she basically said, you know, change the way you teach and use it as a tool. And it's magical when, when you start to dive in like that. Well, and yeah, and, 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 and cheating and plagiarism is a big concern, but we all know that, and you know, it's really about the type of assessment that you're doing. So, awesome. so you just have to engage the students. You have to make sure that the product is interest-based and is relevant to them. And if you're worried about something that can be copied and pasted, 
then reevaluate how you are doing your assessment. Or use an AI detector. <laughs> but the, see, that's the thing too. AI detectors typically don't work, right? right? So we right. just have to, they, they just don't work. So, right. so knowing that, knowing that, you know, I mean, if you are engaging your students, they are all in. And so it levels the playing field. And yes, I stole that from yes. another, uh, the other AI session because they were fantastic. And it levels the playing field for the kids that struggle. Yes. Right. Yes. It really yes. does. It gives them that extra, the yes. extra support. Yes. So they that can write it in class and then, hey, let's see what, well, what we can do with these words and these ideas. And, and yes, it. exactly. It's all about making sure that you are along the ride in the process with the students. Yes. So it's more about that process than the product. And AI gives you time back because of the efficiency so that you can support students in class. You can be able to. Um, allow you can them. eat your lunch. You can <laughs> eat your lunch, right? right. And then you can build relationships with students. Yeah. You can guide and scaffold them along in the process, so you know they're not cheating. You're, you're there along the journey with them when you're able to do that. It's easier said than done. Um, when, but if you can at least conference with kids once or twice a week, yeah, it's it's golden, it's, and and that alleviates that. There are other concerns, of course, yes. with data privacy and security, right. um, with intellectual property. Yes. All of those are very important. Um, I don't think anyone has the answer yet is the problem. Uh, yeah, I know. And I feel bad for those people that have to write those policies. And I'm really glad I don't. <laughs> and um, I didn't even speak much on it yesterday because there are pros in this. And uh, Canva does a really nice job with that because yeah. Uh, they have you have the option to turn the AI off. Right. right. I love I love when Jason talked about that. Right. And it was and you know, he's he's really on top of yes. the policies and everything. Yes. But um you know, we've been having data privacy issues through you know, with our imprints online. This isn't anything yes. new. It's true. just the very it, true the new way to talk about it. So yeah. it's not right. anything. Yeah, this is the internet has put us all out there. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So how are you using AI in your classroom? Oh, so many ways, so many ways, but ways that a lot of people don't, I think. But, sure. Um, well, that's what we want to hear because we hear about some of the most right, common like, ones, right? Right. Right. AI. That's the first goes, step. Oh, people cheating. We're going to judge. No, no, there's so much more. Um, Let's hear it. One of my favorites is uh, any kind of image that you can create. Mm, uh, no, you know, the kids so cool. uh, I was sharing yesterday, uh, we create these, I probably talked to you about it before, these breathing bubbles. Uh, that's a breathing technique that you inhale and exhale with the bubble. And well, I do remember from our last podcast that you try yeah. to build in a lot of SEL yes. and mental health yeah, awareness. A lot of SEL and with, yes, with AI. yes. So what we did for these these bubbles is I had the kids think of a, a memory of a place, like a vacation we went on, or maybe a special. For me, it's a, a boulder next to a tree that my sisters and I made a fort out of. Um, you know, just something that's your place, your special, that yes. you don't have footage of. Mm. Or maybe it's just having ice cream oh, on a certain yeah. bench. A memory. Right. right, a memory or something that brings you joy. And they recreate it there and then they put it inside their bubble or uh, as the background of their bubble. Yes. So it's something that, you know, AI can allow you to do that. And, and not only that, they have that as the end product, yeah. they always have that. But the journey, right? The process the of going journey. through that. We talk about gratitude. We go into and them. It was so fun to watch. And I was really surprised because usually my eighth graders don't talk to me. <laughs> I teach middle school. So, uh, no, they don't. They, I, and I tell them in sixth grade, when you get to eighth grade, you're oh, not going to talk to me. Sixth grade, they yes, love you. I know. And they're yes. like, no, we love you, Miss Ashley. We're going to talk to you. Oh, no, they're grade. different and people. They're, they're not Even seventh me. grade, yeah. They're funny, though. Um, but with this, the kids really into yes. it uh, and I got to learn so much about them like, yes yeah it, by what went, they're selecting what they made and, yes I mean oh it made me cry some of them some of the kids and it just their stories and but um another way you said something perfect here that that AI helps you with relationships with your students yeah. one of my favorites is Curapod oh, Curapod yes. out of uh, they're out of um Norway because they have this interactive component where um, it's kind of like Kahoot and those, but the kids can, the kids can answer on their devices or their computers, and it gives them a funny nickname. So no one knows whose answer oh. is there. But basically, you upload slideshows she's done forever, and they purify them. So they add all this purify. interaction. It okay. might be a drawing prompt. It might be a, <laughs> so you know, cool. and they even have AI that gives reflection that's unique to each kid. That's incredible. So. Um, we even had one, a Harry Potter theme, where they did it in a Slytherin voice. So Slytherin comes oh. on and, well, 
dear um, really? you know, student of Hogwarts. But as far as what else I'm doing, um, a lot of, uh, I, I love, I love Canva's Magic Morph. You can oh, turn. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's so fun. So we built dream rooms and vision boards, but kids in science built biomes. I mean, you could just right. do so much. So what you do is you pick a shape and sometimes a picture from their elements works, but like a shape like a heart and you just put in fluffy pink pillow 3D and this beautiful pillow and pops it creates it. Just, a, just a regular shape. So you could do that. With That's so morph. cool. You can also change the letters into anything balloons or oh whatever so the kids like to animate their that's name so, creative. Um, so th that's a lot of fun um i i use a, a lot of interesting ai a lot of background removal a lot of video background removal things like that oh, that's right cool. but there's so much more uh, and what you're talking about is really allowing the student to be in control yes. and personalizing it yes. so it makes them want to do it. It really engages them. Engages them to look up adjectives because they get excited about how can I describe this one? Right. Wow. That's great. But one of my favorite ways, though, is to get my kids. Oh, my gosh. This was so fun. We did a film script on kindness, pay it forward. And I know a lot of people see those videos where... You know, this random act of kindness leads into something else, and then this helps the lady cross yeah. the street. And then, right. So it's connected. Domino. So I had the kids, first of all, just to kind of experiment, I had them all sit down. And because we have this grit that we have the, the kindness pass off, like a Brady Bunch. Grit. Okay. Oh. And the kids all got to share their ideas of kindness, even some weird ones, which I that's why I love AI, because AI makes the weird ones cool. Yes, that's seconds. right. And they were having trouble connecting them so after they did and when they sat at the table it was the same two kids that are always the leaders right yeah and they're sitting in the back trying to play on their phones so when i threw it into the to the bot i said let's see what they can do to connect their ideas and they all walked up to the board one by one and they were reading it they're like what that's amazing and then the shy kids came up and they're like there's my idea really yes. awesome and then they said ask the bot this Christian, put put this in put this in and it was 100% participation, and it made them fabulous. think deeper. Yes. Deep right. thinking. So and they think felt the AI's doing it for them. They were yeah. thinking deeper. Can you tell them it's excited? So <laughs> it's giving voice to some yes. people that don't have voice. It does. And I always say still waters run deep. Yes. The ones that are talking all the time don't always have all the answers. No, they don't. And the quiet ones sometimes have brilliant ideas, brilliant. but they're just afraid. That's why I love and the And so technology this kind of gives them a built the, boost. Taking those barriers down. Yes. yes and giving them that confidence. And right. they feel seen in that mm -hmm. particular scenario. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like yeah, I, did. I didn't verbalize it, but it's there. And now I kind of feel like part of the group when normally I don't feel like I can. Right. Well, they, they did. And I, I was just so excited because I was kind of experimenting to see and uh, but then the thing too is I have these kids 45 minutes and then I have another group 45 yeah minutes. because your actual content area is what digital media digital so media teach, so uh, it's like per semester and, yeah. or per it's a quarter mm -hmm. okay quarters. and the, <laughs> the thing is um, these 45 minutes just I have 30 yeah. kids yeah to so, get a script wow. written would take weeks yes right yeah. that's so such a good they lose point. interest and by they the time did. ready to oh, film wow. they weren't excited anymore and it was just too much work so now this is helping me to get to filming right. on the video production process and the first of all they come out better they're more creative and everyone's really involved so you it's never have that that it's blank yes. slate right instead right. they can get the brainstorming done right. with the help of ai yeah. and then get right to the editing and yes. creativeness and collaboration they get you need to hit. yes and yes to instead save that of time. all the preliminary yeah save that time yeah you mentioned the word experimenting and i think that is the trick. Yes. I mean, when I started teaching, it was the 90s, it was the internet, and you just got to play and learn alongside the students. And now with this new revolution with AI, we're in the same boat. Right. So how do you do your experimenting? How do you choose? Because we can't use every tool, right? So you have to kind of, right? You have to kind of, pick, you have to test them and pick and choose. Um, do you have like, um, I know some schools try to have their tech departments do that, but you, when you experiment, what do you do? How do you do that? How do you encourage teachers to kind of get on that boat? Too? Okay. Um, well, with teachers, I a lot of it is fear. Yes. You know, everything's right. fear-based. And so I, um, 
you know, and they come in with their their notion of, of it. So I, you know, I, I joke around and say, how many of you have a Roomba? Yeah, Yay. right. How many of you? <laughs> right. But, but I always, I always give them a small win right away yes. and yeah. usually nothing to do with education perfect like, coaching strategy there right. you go i'm like okay everybody and tonight because if i'll say it tell them the day before go home tonight right um or type in everything that you have in your refrigerator and everything in your cabinets even the really weird stuff and then we'll make some recipes from it and just something simple like yes. that right or plan a weekend getaway or um something something personal for them yeah, then i'm like okay how many of you have to write iep accommodations Right. I'm going I'm I'm to be your best friend in about two minutes. Right. Go to Magic School AI. They have a section there. Put in the kid's name. Put in the, the oh, you don't even have to put the name, actually. And you put right. in. Yeah, no names, right? We're certain things any about, names like, what, what, what their targets are. You don't have to put that much because you can always change it. And it just spits them all out. And there's, because these, te- these special ed teachers are copying and pasting these. I mean, it's too much. Yeah. And it, it personalizes it and it gives them more time to work with the kids. Yeah. And less time. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes. I have yeah. a friend that's a principal that uses it. And she said the beauty of it is, is it's so crowdsourced because our team, if we were doing it, we would be in a rut, right. you know, doing the same accommodations all the time. This pulls them in from all over the world. And now I can see some new ideas that I may not have That's a great used. point. That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. So, so cool. that's what she loves about it. Yeah, so great. But we, we like to do fun stuff too. We do some silly stuff and, um, you know, just filters. Yes. And, and turning into characters and just, there's just so many things you can do. And if the people go to my Instagram, Green Screen Gal 44, you're going to see a lot of those fun things that we do with AI. <laughs> oh, yes. And you do want to check those out because yeah. it's amazing. You can go down that rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just watching your videos. Rabbit. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Well, I know that we have planes to catch yeah. and places to go, and we hate to cut this short, but we appreciate you being here with oh, us. I appreciate you. Oh, yes. Well, we'll have you back and hear about your journey and give us more great creative tips. Yes. yes. I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. And cut. As Marvin would say. As Marvin would say. Thank you for listening. And if you would like to stay linked up, Be sure to follow us on Apple and Spotify and subscribe to us on YouTube.